The alleged affair between Prince William and Rose Hanbury explained. The British royal family is no stranger to gossip and questions about their personal lives. From King Charles's shady dealings to Prince Harry's scathing comments to Prince Andrew's scandals, the British royal family has certainly had its fair share of controversy. Fans who have avidly watched docuseries like The Crown for insights into the love lives of royalty know there are certainly more timely infidelities running riot in the rumor mill. Moreover, Prince William himself has been embroiled in many such rumors that date back to his dating years at St. Andrews to the current gossip surrounding Rose Hanbury. Today, we'll look at the alleged affair between Prince William and Rose Hanbury. Number 1. Where did it all begin? In April 2019, the American publication In Touch reported that the Prince of Wales may have had an affair with Rose Hanbury, the Marchioness of Calmondelli. The report further stated that when Princess Catherine supposedly confronted the prince, he laughed it off, saying there was nothing to it. This, of course, led to all kinds of speculation about why the Princess of Wales and Rose Hanbury split up their friendship and whether or not the prince had anything to do with it. Moreover, certain members of the British media were tweeting and deleting stuff, implying a major scandal was about to blow. As a result, news reporters were flooding Norfolk, trying to see if they could get the royals to talk about Rose Hanbury. However, despite all this, the UK papers, and we all know the UK papers can get dirty, weren't following up on their initial story. Thus, either they really couldn't find anything substantial and decided to be honorable, or they were getting warned by the royal officials. Nothing was confirmed, and there's no actual evidence that the Prince of Wales cheated on his wife. Besides, the Daily Mail reported that everything was fabricated. The report said, Both sides have considered legal action, but because none of the reports have been able to offer any evidence about what the so-called dispute is about, they have chosen to ignore it. These hurtful rumors of fallout are simply false. Number 2. Now, who exactly is Rose Hanbury? Sarah Rose Hanbury is a former model and used to be signed by Storm Models, the same agency that discovered Kate Moss. Rose Hanbury married David George Philip Calmondelli, for some reason pronounced as the Marchioness of Chumley. Rose Hanbury married David George Philip Chumley in 2009. David George Philip was the seventh Marquess of Chumley but has since been succeeded by the seventh Baron Carrington after the late Queen's death. The couple's first interaction dates way back to 2003, when the two first met on holiday in Italy. After dating for several years, the couple got engaged in a private setting without much notice. Interestingly, the couple tied the knot after being engaged for just two days. Rose's mother, Emma, later revealed her daughter was pregnant with twins. The couple has been blessed with three adorable children. Alexander, Oliver, and Iris. Despite her three children, the Marchioness of Chumley stayed in great shape. She posted a picture of herself and Amanda Seyfried on her social media account, where the two can be seen modeling for Miu Miu in Vogue. At the same time, she was also briefly a researcher for conservative MP Michael Gove. In terms of power and position, David Chumley, who counts King Charles among his close friends, was appointed the Lord-in-Waiting in March 2023. If King Charles ceased to be king before David's death, he would exercise his role or nominate a deputy. Rose, too, has always had a strong relationship with the royal family. In 1947, during the late Queen's wedding to Prince Philip, Rose's grandmother, Lady Elizabeth Lambert, served as one of the Queen's eight bridesmaids. Number 3. So, what went wrong between them? In March 2019, The Sun reported that the Princess of Wales was upset about a story that claimed Princess Catherine asked the prince to supposedly phase out Rose Hanbury from their close social circle because the two reportedly had a falling out. Not to make things more suspicious, but Rose Hanbury lives in a beautiful mansion in Norfolk, near the royal couple's Norfolk residence, Anmer Hall. Since the two couples live about a stone's throw away from each other in the countryside, that makes makes things reasonable as to why some news outlets started referring to her as Princess Catherine's rural rival. Besides, various media reports claimed that the prince was cheating on the princess during her third pregnancy with Prince Louis. At the same time, Rose again made headlines when she appeared as a guest at the late Queen's funeral last year in September, where other senior royals were also in attendance. Mark News, citing the UK press, claimed that the Prince of Wales had spent Valentine's Day with Rose Hanbury. According to reports, the two were having dinner at a high-end Italian restaurant in London Marca. Citing a server at the restaurant, reported that the prince had given Rose a pearl necklace as a present for Valentine's Day. 
Number four, what does the Harry and Meghan docuseries say? On December 8, 2022, Netflix released part one of Meghan and Harry, a six-episode docuseries giving an insight into the couple's transition away from their royal duties. The first three episodes focused on their love life, how the couple supported each other through difficult times, and insight into Meghan Markle's family. The second part, however, dived deeper into how the UK media and the royal family treated the couple to the point of their departure. In the short trailer, Prince Harry discussed the disparity between him and his brother Prince William, citing, They were happy to lie to protect my brother. They were never willing to tell the truth to protect us. While the Duke of Sussex does not explicitly mention Rose and her alleged affair, netizens have pointed out that Prince Harry might be referring to the rumors of his brother's supposed affair. The story of Prince William and Rose Hanbury's affair hit the news back in March 2019, around the same time Meghan Markle was pregnant with Archie and faced harsh and racist headlines. In the trailer, Meghan stated that she wasn't just thrown to the wolves, in fact, she was being fed to them possibly pointing fingers at how the royal family was proactive in shutting down any rumors about Prince William's alleged affair, however, failing to do the same for her. Number 5. What is hashtag Prince of Pegging? Around that time, an anonymous Twitter account at Dumois wrote a thread claiming that news about a member of the British royal family's affair had been an open secret to the royal media and at parties. The account further alleged that the real reason why the royal member is involved in such scandalous activities is its love of pegging, hence why hashtag Prince of Pegging was trending on Twitter for a brief time around that time. Number 6. The tweet goes on to state, This is so salacious, I'm almost too shook to share with you. But well anyway, the British royal's extramarital affair is an open secret in London and amongst the English aristocrat and is the talk of every party and news deck. At a recent media party, I was told the reason for the affair was the royal's love for pegging, which the wife is far too old-fashioned to engage in. The wife doesn't mind her and in fact prefers her husband getting his sexual needs fulfilled elsewhere as long as things don't become emotional, which was the case with the last woman. This could be completely false or about a different member of the royal family. However, for some reason, the netizens seem to be focusing on Prince William, maybe partly because he's been plagued with unresolved fake rumors before. Despite royal reporter Richard Kay stating at the time that there won't be any legal action taken from the royal family, the Daily Beast claimed otherwise. In a report, the news outlet claimed that a certain pressure was being put on the media house to remove the affair rumor claims from staff writer Gils Corrin's Twitter. Gils Corrin of The Times of London's tweet reportedly said, Yes, it is an affair. I haven't read the piece, but I know about the affair. Everyone knows about the affair, darling. The Daily Beast further reported that at least one British publication was served with legal notices after publishing false details about the royal family, according to the royal family's lawyers. One of those legal notices from the royal family stated, In addition to being false and highly damaging, the publication of false speculation in respect of our client's private life also constitutes a breach of his privacy pursuant to Article 8 of the European Convention to Human Rights. Number 7. So, what's the truth? Although hashtag Prince of Pegging was trending on Twitter, bringing us some light-hearted memes and some much-needed humor, it doesn't really reflect well on the royal family as an institution, especially when you consider the number of scandals royal family members have been involved in in the past. It certainly paints a precarious picture of the future of the monarchy. Nobody but Prince William, Princess Catherine, and Rose Hanbury know what happened, if anything, but the media must be extra cautious when deciding what to report or else they may have to print papers from behind bars. The Sun's royal editor, Duncan Larcombe, aptly put this in one of his interviews. While traditionally the British royal family would not take specific legal action, William and Harry are willing to do it in their own way. However, when recently talking with the Daily Beast, one royal insider has finally decided to come forward and speak the truth. On condition of anonymity, the insider said, There has never been an enmity between Kate and Rose. The rumors were all a load of rubbish. The family are ancient allies of the crown, and they will be there. Although official sources have not confirmed whether Rose will be on the invite list for King Charles's coronation, a close friend called it unimaginable not to have her there. 
Besides, David Chumley's new role in the British royal family means his presence will be important during all state-related and royal occasions. The Lord-in-waiting can also take the throne in case of King Charles's untimely death. Thus, the two families will always be in close contact and within each other's arm's length in the future. Furthermore, a source close to the royal family told Us Weekly the affair rumors turned out to be a good thing for them in the end. Kate finds the rumors hurtful, obviously, and hates the thought that one day her children will be able to read about them online. He added, it forced her and William to sit back and examine their relationship, which they realized they should have been doing more often. Thus, it is not unusual to have a few hiccups in a marriage, especially after 12 years, and the Prince and Princess of Wales are no different. But what's important is that they are still going strong despite their ups and downs, they love each other dearly, and always prioritize their kids as the most important part of their lives. That will be all for this video. What are your views on the alleged affair between Prince William and Rose Hanbury? Let us know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, remember to give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and hit that notification bell to be the first to know when we post new content. Thanks for watching, and we'll be with you in the next video.